here for the past decade, more than 2,500 food and wine enthusiasts converge on the island of Martha's Vineyard for a culinary and wine extravaganza. So have an oyster, then taste the wine, then have your other oyster and taste the wine again. That's the routine for each one. So two oysters per wine, see how the oyster tastes on its own, see how you like the flavors of, of the wine with the oyster. The Martha's Vineyard Food and Wine Festival. Four days and three nights of celebration. Salut to all. Carefully curated wine and innovative cuisine, drawing inspiration from the rich farming and fishing tradition on the island. More than two dozen events are all scattered throughout the long weekend. Like the walking tour in Egertown with architect Patrick Ahern. You know, people talk about new urbanism and, and different ways of living and, and living in, in these communities that are being built now that feel a little bit like Egertown and oh shucks at the Edgartown Yacht Club, offering local oysters paired with French classic wine and lively stories. 95% of the oyster farmers in the world don't breed oysters. Most in the past, of course, it was just wild harvesting. Wine, wine first, first then oyster, oyster, wine then first, and then another oyster. Yeah, so that's not Absolutely. a bad cycle. This was uh, incubated um, 11, 12 years ago with some thought of celebrating the, um, the farmers of the vineyard. So our first few years was you know, celebrating the harvest that's going on here. And we wanted to do it in this incredible time of year of October, not expecting what would get here on our 10th annual of <laughs> you know, 70 degree days. Exactly. Perhaps one of the most anticipated events of this four day festival is the Grand Tasting. And it is held right here at the Harborview Hotel. Um, this is my fourth year. I love it. I love Harborview. I love everything about this. The food and the wine is great. I have my favorites, but it's so great to see the new competition here and everything's great. I love it. So here you have the dry ice. It's going in over the, the aroma. Yes. So like you were trying to put them essentially, give them the feeling that they're sitting in Peru and watching the fog roll down oh. over the mountains. Oh, really citrusy. Beautiful. Thank you. Enjoy. It's a blend of 60, 40, Pinot Nero, and Chardonnay. This anticipated fall event on the island is not only a delicious time, but also helps local charities, including the Agricultural Society's Farms Program and the Farm to School Program Island Grown School. We were happy we got to attend this 10th annual festival. To find out more about next year's festival, check out mvfoodandwine.com.